Hello guys, it's been a while. In fact, it's been about five months uh, since my last video. Um, how do I explain it? it it's been um, an unusual time. Um, I needed a bit of time out with my family and um, we need to reorganise things because we never expected to be needed as much as we, we, we are. Um, so here's another video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to bleed up um, a coolant system, which can sound simple. But sometimes, if you don't do it in the right way, it can actually make um, make it even harder to get an airlock out of, out of your system because you can trap it within the heater matrix and you can trap it within the engine. Now, before we go out and have a look at this vehicle that somebody's sent me recently, I want to say a special mention to Nathan Cross. Get well, lad, soon. Uh, we know you're in hospital. We're all rooting for you, so you get yourself better as soon as possible. Johnny and Josie in Australia sent me this... Uh, Koala Kangaroo Hologram Postcard. Thank you ever so much from you guys in Australia. And Gary from family, you know I always like to say hello. So, it's onwards and upwards for us from now on. Um, the video, I've got plenty to share with you. Um, what's been going on in the past few months. What Learned lots and lots and lots and looking at ways and improving things for the future because obviously we're, we're growing together as a family. Um, learning how everything that you need to know about your vehicle and that's what I intend to do is keep teaching you how to um, look after your vehicle some people don't quite like that but that's tough isn't it I'm here to help people and that's what we do uh, so come on let's go and have a look at this car right guys so when you've done a full engine rebuild um, and you want to put the coolant in you need to take both the radiator caps off and this is where people go wrong because they're not aware of it get both the radiator caps off yeah and then you have to go for the bleed nipple now the bleed nipple is just there see it that get clip there get that off and you'll save yourselves loads of problems loads of problems because what could actually happen is is you, when you're putting cooling in here you're forcing air into, into the system and that's where you've got air trapped which will then struggle to circulate around your engine. Now, particularly with the Pathfinders, particularly with the Pathfinders, guys, they've got a, some of them have got a rear heater matrix, so you've got to make sure when you've got it up and running that the rear blowers are blowing hot when they need to be hot and cold when they need to be cold. So, it can sometimes it can take perseverance. You need to um, then once you've got it topped up as best you can and, and it's coming out of the bleed nipple, put the bleed nipple back on and top it up accordingly. Fill in the radiator first and then the header tank. Then you need to go on a lengthy test run, get the heaters on full and making sure that you've got continuous uh, warm air. If you find that it's going hot and cold, hot and cold, you've still got some sort of major cool, uh, sorry, air lock within your system. So you, that's what you've got to keep checking for. And then you've got to park up, let the engine cool down and then start with the header tank. You should hear a, a slight hiss. And that's because of the pressure that's escaped from in and around your engine should come to the header tank and then it'll escape and then you just keep topping it up accordingly and then i just keep an eye on the coolant levels to make sure that you've no leaks in and around the engine after an engine rebuild and other than that yeah um that's that's the way to do it sometimes it can take me about half an hour um but in a nutshell that's how we do it now that's just to show you this guys this is a, a Daryl's truck, coming with a snap timing chain. Can you imagine finding that when you open it up? This engine is going to need a lot of work, but no worries, we'll get it sorted for him. Right, guys, if you need my help and assistance at all, give us a call on 01274 029809. And you can also email me at westyorkshireengines at gmail.com. Or you can get me on my mobile, which is 07415-166-851. And my haters are going, oh, he's back. We've never been anywhere. We've just uh, been doing things a little bit differently and learning how to do things differently. So, guys, that's how you bleed up the, the vehicle. Um, if um, you've got any video suggestions or you want us to show you how to do anything, please feel free. Get in contact. Let us know what, what you need us to show you. It's not an issue. And um, we'll look forward to putting some more videos out very soon. Thanks for watching. Come again. Find us on Facebook and give us a like.